Right, you know what, we've heard a lot about shark attacks and sightings lately, feeds into folks' fears, it raises concerns, and experts really want to educate people and explain why sharks are so important to our ecosystem. The Shed Aquarium is part of that effort, including our editor and photographer, Casey Klaus, who volunteers at the Shed as well, the Shed's Caribbean Reef. So Casey, I know you've been a diver for many years, I'm just not sure how long you've been diving with sharks. Well, Stacy and Ravi, welcome to the Shed Aquarium. I've been diving with sharks uh, here at the Shed Aquarium for just about three years now. And I'll tell you this, it's very difficult to have a case of the Mondays when you start your work week off diving in a Caribbean reef. So talk to us a little bit about that, the, the expanse of sharks that are there, how important they are to the ecosystem, and also how they're misunderstood a bit. Well, here at the Shed Aquarium, we've got several habitats and exhibits with different kinds of sharks. In the Caribbean Reef, we have bonnethead sharks. They look a lot like hammerheads because they're actually of the same species. I'm sorry, the same family, but they are a different species. They are bonnetheads. There's three of them here in the Caribbean Reef, and they're very important to the ecosystem. You're right. They do get a bad rap because every time a shark bites someone, and it's usually out of mistaken identity, the shark sees potential food and it turns out to be a human. The shark stories come out, but the truth of the matter is, is that sharks are feeling a lot of danger right now and a lot of um, a lot of hurt from human behaviors. Sharks are incredibly important to our oceans, and thus they're also incredibly important to the planet as a whole because of how much the oceans impact life on land. All right, Casey, you have to be a little concerned when you dive with sharks, don't you? Or kind of give me a feel of what goes through your head at that point. The first thing going through my head is I'm just stopping and enjoying the beauty of this animal because they really are very beautiful. And honestly, I can tell you, no, I don't feel nervousness or, or concern when I'm diving with sharks. I was diving here in the Caribbean Reef just a few minutes ago, and I was actually thinking about this as I was feeding other animals and some of our sharks were getting close to me. They're smart enough to know what's food and what isn't. And I didn't have any concern that I was going to get bitten. Now, I'll tell you this, a couple years ago, I actually went diving with great white sharks as well in the middle of the, uh, of the ocean. And even there with that beautiful predator, uh, I just wasn't feeling concerned for my safety. Mm -hmm. They were smart enough to know what food is and what food isn't. I'm really glad to hear that you say that because that's an important part of the misperception that's out there. Very quickly, do you have a favorite? There's so many amazing fish there. Do you have a favorite, especially ones to fish with, uh, swim with? You know, there's 500 different fish here in the Caribbean Reef. They all have different personalities. I do have a favorite. It's this little puffer fish. He's just so spunky. He, he goes up feeding with some of those big 300-pound tarpon, and he has no idea that he's this little guy. And often, he comes away with the bite of food. Oh, yeah. What an experience you get to yeah. live every Monday, Casey. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.